County leaders facing anger and criticism from people in the public on topics that weren't even part of an already full agenda for Knox County Commission. 10 News reporter Caitlin Keenahan joins us on Fox 43 here with three things to know tonight from a four and a half hour meeting covering the actions of deputies, zoning laws and a new contract highlighting concerns about response times for ambulance crews. Let's start there, Caitlin. John, yes, all of that. But up first, let's talk about the Knox County Commission and their vote to allow the current contract from emergency services with AMR to expire on June 30th. Commissioners also voted to approve an amended one year contract with AMR between January 2023 to January 2024. Supporters say this offers a chance to hire a consultant and write up a new contract. That new deal targets a slow response times, hefty fines, and a changing world for amb ambulance crews since the start of the pandemic. AMR responds to upwards of 200 calls a day across Knox County. Uh, we certainly have no, no, no desire or interest to leave. When the new RFP is written, I certainly will we'll submit a proposal and we anticipate to compete and, and win that proposal and remain the provider in Knox County. AMR is pushing for fewer restrictions on timed responses to cut the number and amount of fines the company faces. Under the current contract, the company faces tens of thousands of dollars in fines from the county. Now on to the public forum portion of this commission meeting. The situation with McAllister's and the Knox County Sheriff's Office resurfaced at the meeting tonight. Just some background on this case. Knox County deputies said 15 year old Anaya Thompson refused them service at a McAllister's restaurant. The Sheriff's Office then released a public statement critical of that teenage worker. Tonight, her mother took to the tonight. She took to the podium herself to share her side of the story. Since then, I have lost my first job and been forced to watch my name and character be drugged through the mud and destroyed via social media because of Kimberly Glenn, a communications director for the Knox County Sheriff's Office who, found to, who failed to do her job accurately and has still yet to face the consequences of her actions. People also spoke in support of that teenager. We saw a division on the commission. Daisha Lundy defended Mrs. Thompson, Ms. Thompson with Rhonda Lee voicing support of the Sheriff's Office in this case. I'm tired and to hear Anaya speak and that other young male that so happened to be black, he couldn't even get it out. We are living in trauma, including me. Again, this case was not on the agenda. This was all part of the public comment phase of that meeting. And finally, brewing controversies about all age drag shows in East Tennessee have come to a pinnacle. People on both sides of the coin showed up to voice their concerns to the commission. Some attendees believe all age drag shows are not child appropriate and should not be permitted in Knox County, calling these shows inappropriate and inherently sexual. I implore you all as county commission to make Knox County a sanctuary city for children. You can start by declaring children under 18 should never be permitted into adult theme shows. Penalty under the laws that are already established for decency is People against the drag shows were attempting to ban the upcoming All Ages show at the Tennessee Theater, which is on Thursday. However, some members of the drag community did show up and they expressed their frustrations with this controversy. And I'm sick of being accused of being a pedophile my whole life. It needs to stop and we need to grow up and we need to accept people who are different than us. This was again not on the agenda. This discussion is far from over. We have an extensive story online right now where you can learn more about the drag show controversy in Tennessee. That's all we've got for tonight and all of these stories you can find on our website. John. Caitlin, we appreciate the update. Let's